Dollywood One of the best parks in the world, home to so many great attractions, has sure added some of the most innovative and groundbreaking attractions in the past 10 years. From Wild Eagle in 2012, Fire Chaser Express in 2014, Lightning Rod in 2016, and of course, the whole new Wildwood Grove expansion that came in 2018, this park has truly stepped up their game in the past 10 years. And that's not even mentioning the Dream More Resort that was added in 2015, tying in to an announcement Dollywood made just a while ago with the main subject of this video. But most importantly, before we start, if you are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on coasters often, as it really helps the channel out tremendously. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all of the Coaster Thrills social media accounts, including Instagram, for updates and much more. But now that's out of the way, let's jump in. To start out, let's look at the announcement Dollywood made, and that is that they are going to be spending a huge $500 million on Dollywood as a whole. $250 million will be going into hospitality, $100 million will be going into infrastructure and improvements, but mainly, the main subject of this video is that they are spending $150 mil on attraction experiences in their parks. But you read the title, what could they be adding in 2023? Going with what they said, it will be a new multi-generational coaster, obviously that carrying a ton of weight, especially in the speculation. The heavy rumored location of this ride is in part 2 of Wildwood Grove. Obviously, Wildwood Grove is a home to Dragonfly, though it's more of a borderline family coaster. So, no matter what the new coaster will be, this section of the park would very much be welcome to another coaster and they have a ton of space to work with. Looking here at Google Earth, after the land clearing, Dollywood really opened up a ton of area just to show the OG expansion of Wildwood Grove is huge, and as you can see, there is still so much more space. So, this opens up so many opportunities, especially with how much this park is cared for, this coaster will not disappoint. Coming back to the announcement of what this coaster will be, they did mention it would be a multi-generational coaster, so it could be a family coaster of some type. I know, not the most exciting. But that does not limit the creativity of what this coaster will be, as my prediction of this brand new coaster is that it will be an Intamin multi-launch family coaster. First off, I think this coaster will be great as it will be the second launch coaster at the park even though Lightning Rod's launch is definitely not the main focus or best part of the ride. Surely, Dollywood will add a more extreme coaster in the future once this coaster is all finished so that makes it more satisfying of an addition for Dollywood as they will sure do a great job with this coaster. There actually was some supposed leaked blueprints pointing towards the layout that would take up up a decent amount of space, but that really just adds to the anticipation of this great looking layout. Though the showing of the blueprints are a little blurry, you can see that there are multiple launches, the station, and of course the little things, but the big takeaway is that this coaster looks to be pretty big in the space it takes up. Dollywood would be capitalizing with this space they have by doing this, as it looks like this would be a fantastic new coaster for all the families. Obviously, I am heavily leaning on the idea that these blueprints are 100% true, which definitely may not be the case, as well as it may not even be intimate. Really, my only other option would be mock, but looking at some of the other concept art, the track design sure does look to be intimate, and I definitely think that it would be the right choice. Now of course, there are some other options for this new coaster such as a B&M dive coaster, but I definitely think that this is the right choice to go with. Obviously, multi-generational means for the family, so I for sure think that the multi-launch coaster would be a great fit as the possibilities really are endless just due to how good Dollywood does on all of their attractions. 
There was some names being thrown around, such as Big Bear Mountain, which for a ride like this is pretty interesting, but I do kind of like it as it's very Dollywood-like for a name as, which is which I love. As you can tell, I am really excited for this edition, even though it is two years away, but I bet this will be one of the best coasters at Dollywood just being the start of what could come in the near future. But what do you think of what could be added to Dollywood? in 2023 make sure to post that in the comments below i read every comment love what you guys have to say and of course if you are not already which i highly recommend you to do make sure to like comment and of course subscribe for more videos on coasters often and see ya